Welcome to Penguin After Dark, and this episode is a kink on a budget, Paracord Floggers, where for under $20, I will show you how to make one of these. This was the uh, very first type of toy that I made when I started my toy making journey, and I figured it is the most appropriate toy to make now. Well, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do that shit. <sighs> Let me start off by saying I'm addressing two different platforms right now. What a fox! So kind of bear with me. This goes into a special announcement that we have. I will say if you'd like to go to the build of the Paracord Flogger, you can go to Time Signature. And then if, if, if you've already seen this and need to go back to whatever, anyways. <clears throat> I'll probably edit that little part out after the whole time signature thing because I'm just fucking talking to myself trying to wing it, wing it on this shit. This video is going on to YouTube and it is also going on to the All Network, which is a streaming channel on Roku. Our good buddy Mac with Nightlife 24-7 podcast What a fox! has created the All Radio and All Network, which is a streaming radio service and a streaming video service. All stands for Alternative Lifestyle Living. Everything is about kink, LGBTQ+, mental health, addiction, all types of different topics from all different types of creators and it is definitely worth checking out. What you need to do to get the All Network is go onto your Roku and you need to update the software oh, man. and then you need to search out all network and install it and it'll pop up this is building up from the ground floor with this network and we're very honored to be a part of it and be asked to be a contributor to it what this means for penguin after dark is that we're going to do full build videos for the all network and then we're going to do abridged versions for our YouTube channel. And then we're going to do little teaser things for TikTok. And then of course, all of our social media and stuff. That sounds sweet. So those that are watching on YouTube, you already know who we are. Those that are watching on all network, let me introduce us, myself and my wife, who is uh, tooling around the background. My name is Sean, she is Chelsea. What a fox. I refer to her, her as Miss Penguin. You can call me anything except late to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dad joke. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> We've been in the kink building business for about five or six years. We started out with making basically like these paracord floggers and other inexpensive little toys and now we've expanded into leather floggers and paddles and resin and our newest venture is these guys silicone insertable things yeah this is going to be completely new trying to figure out how to operate all this and get everything going with it and you get to be a part of the journey with penguin after dark so Let's uh, go ahead and get into the build, shall we? Saturday nights used to be so much fun until we came down with a bad case of adulthood. And symptoms of adulthood include responsibilities such as financial, family, and screaming into the void. I felt like adulthood was running our entire lives it even affected our sex life. That's before we found the solution, PAD. 
Penguin After Dark, they specialize in a unique take on traditional adult relationship enhancement devices, such as floggers, butt plugs, paddles, dildos, and, and much, much more. PAD, put the fun back in our functional relationship. Be sure to talk to your local penguin about how they can help you. That's just what I'm doing to queue up shit. So. All you're going to need to make this for under $20 is a length or a spool, a skein, a pallet of paracord, a disc, a cheese log, a cheese log of paracord, some electrical tape, a ring, not necessary, but it helps and some skizzers. Cut shit. Oh, what was it? Uh, oh, what was it? Fucking from Full House. Cut it. Cut it out. His name's gonna come to me during editing and I may not edit it or I may edit it. Whatever. His name was, uh, uh, he used to, Hello. oh, uh, he used to date Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Coulier? Coulier? Dave, Dave Coulier. Coulier. Yeah. Cut it out. Anyways, I always have to, like the whole thing, like MC Hammer had too legit, too legit to quit. In my youth, I actually uh, spent time learning with too legit, too legit to quit. So I could have it down by rope. Anyways. <laughs> so making this, Length is going to be a factor. I speak from experience when I say that I have made one of these one time a little too long. And I was playing with someone and I kept hitting the ceiling with the falls with every <laughs> every throw. Yeah, so kind of take that in consideration. If you have open roof or a huge ceiling, make the shit as long as you want. But if you're like most homes where you have, I guess like an eight foot clearance, Keep that in mind. What you're going to end up doing is taking your paracord. Oh, you don't have to be exact. You can just kind of figure out whatever works for you. If you want to use your body to get the right length, do something like this where you get your whole length, fold it in half, and then, yeah, that should be long enough. So we'll go ahead and cut that. And then we're gonna repeat this process. And we can go for probably five of these. That way when you double them over, you'll end up with 10 falls. I picked up this paracord at Home Depot. This spool was about $6. And I know they range up to about 10 or so. So it, it's still, it's pretty inexpensive. These rings usually come in a two pack for uh, about $3. So you could be possibly sitting at $13 between the two of them. If you don't have a pair of scissors, you can always go steal the ones from your kids. If you have kids or steal them from the neighbor's kids, but you should have a pair of scissors. I'm not shaming you if you don't. I understand that uh, there's supply chain issues in the world right now and acquiring scissors can be a little difficult. You can pick up the electrical tape for I think four or five dollars or you get a roll of like five of them for six bucks and they also sell them in different colors so if you want to get super creative you can use the different colors. Anywho. Take one of them, put it through the ring, and hold it match them up and then boom again you don't need the ring the ring just makes it work a little bit easier doing the install and also just kind of makes it look a little bit cooler having the ring so you can actually take all of your folds I don't know why I'm being difficult when I guess I'm trying to fill up time because <laughs> time. anyways just put them all in like so and pull them down and try to get them lined up as best as possible. 
you don't have to be perfect with this. You don't, you're, you're not entering it into the great kink hall of fame. So it, it doesn't have to be spot on or perfect. And of course, it all depends on your height, the top's height, um, how much space you have to play. You can actually make this pretty long and then go play with it. If it's too long, cut it back and you're, you're good to go. Let's take the electrical tape. This was also the very first toy type that I ever owned because I couldn't afford all the really cool stuff people are doing. Take the tape, wrap it around like so. And you're gonna wanna pull it tight. Just keep it tight and then just some arbitrary amount. You can use your hand as kind of uh, your measuring guide. But what I do is start wrapping, keep it tight and just overlap the last pass of the tape. Because it keeps it nice and secure and it doesn't create any little lips that can get caught on your hand or sweat can get into and make the tape unravel. Of course, the beauty of this is if the tape ever comes unraveled, you just retake that shit. You can also get creative and put a little core in the handle, which makes it a little rigid, but I've, I've found that this really is all you need. Just keep overlapping the tape, like so. Keep coming down, going tight. And then go straight across like so, and then come back up to your middle spot. And a little trick I want to give you, don't pull the tape, don't use your teeth to cut it because that's going to leave the edge of the tape um, uneven and jagged, which can catch. Pull it tight and then use the scissors to cut a nice clean edge and then pull it and boom. And it basically disappears in there. I mean, you can't even see anymore. I can barely see it, but yeah, yeah. For an added bonus, and it kind of makes it look a little bit cooler, is um, you can take a couple little snippets of paracord and then your electrical tape and you can create it, what I call the bell of a handle. Do the same thing. You just kind of tape it on there. Now I will say I've been doing stuff like this with electrical tape for a while so I'm a trained professional and I do encourage you to try this at home. Even though I've got years of experience. And again, make a clean cut with the tape. Boom. slide on you because it's a bastard. Alright, there we go. And you want to make sure that you take the tape and tape it back upon itself. Because that will give it the best adhesive surface to work with. Clean cut. And oh look at that. Now, if you're playing and you get all sweaty and fucking, oh, I'm really in. <laughs> shit won't fly out of your hand, which. I've had that happen before too, and that sucks. Because you're like, oh, I'm fucking in it. And then all of a sudden your toy is flying in the air. And if you're at a dungeon, uh, 
standardbys can uh, become unwanted targets of the toy. And there we have a paracord flogger made for under $20. Something kind of cool you can do, you can cut all these falls to length. You can do the paracord thing in a lighter and burn it to close the phrase. You can tie it into a knot, which gives a completely different sensation. If, if you, you can do knots all the way up a fall if you want. I do recommend if you do that, start with a longer piece because obviously it's going to shorten with each tie. You can do a combination of just straight up falls and straight up knots, all knots, all knots, like all network, all alternative lifestyle living knot work on your falls. Are they naughty knots? They're naughty knots. Oh! <laughs> or what you could do, which I had done because I'm a sadistic bastard, is on that first one I'd made, I'd taken some insulated wire and I'd wrapped it around the fall and then tied it into a knot which gave it a little bit extra weight. Do we still have it? I think we may still have unicorn kisses. She's gonna go see if uh, she can find it real quick. Okay, she found it. She also decorated it a little bit. But, so this was actually the third one of these I'd made the uh, other two went to play partners that I'd had in the past, but that is what I'm talking about right there. Where I'd taken it and taken some insulated wire and wrapped it around, and it makes it super thuddy. And I only did every other one. And I'd actually taped off the ends, I didn't burn it. But then uh, Miss Penguin went ahead and uh, Added a little bit of flair to it with that uh, unicorn duct tape. Do you remember where you found that? Unicorn duct tape? Yeah. It's at Walmart. Or at least it used to be five years ago. Have they still make that? Yeah, I'm sure you can find it online anywhere. But, there's that. And there's that. <laughs> so, Thank you for uh, being a part of this. I look forward to seeing how things unfold in the coming future and uh, you should be able to join us. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to go to All Network and download the channel and start watching over there and what everyone else is making. If you're on All Network, go and subscribe on the YouTube if you're just discovering us on YouTube, subscribe on the YouTube and the Duo the All Network and do it all and all the shit and you know, the, the fucking typical things that occur with any streaming, social media, platform, fuck, whatever. You know, you're, you're, you're an adult. I hope you're an adult. You should be an adult and you already know how to do all this stuff. So follow us on all the things until next time. Peace!